всем привет из станицы Луганской для Австралии. Мы рады вас видеть. Приезжайте в гости. What's up, guys? It is Brayden here, and I'm on another adventure with Ken. So two Aussies checking out some strange places, and well, today we've got a treat for you. We're in Luhansk region, all the way over in Stanitsa Luhansk, which is about as far east as you can get in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. We are near the controlled, well, we're, this city has a border on the controlled area um, of uh, Luhansk People's Republic. And we're here in the center. Well, not so much of a center, it's kind of like a village around here. But we're going to explore this place today and see what's left. What, what is it like today? You know, all, this, all these terrible things have been happening since 2014, but what is it like today? So join us. Just a bit of a sign of the ongoing conflict here still to this day, still a bit of a victim of uh, shelling here, so you never know what can happen if you live here, which is obviously why many people don't. Uh -huh. A lot of people just up and left, and you can't blame them. You know, it's not exactly ideal to live in a place where you constantly fear something bad happening to you. So, hmm. not the happiest days around here. Look at that. No more train. What have we got? Well, up there we have the, the checkpoint to go across to the controlled area. So behind me is the border checkpoint between Ukraine and the controlled uh, Luhansk People's Republic. As you can see, People coming out here, uh, offering taxis, etc. But uh, yeah, it's not exactly one of the nicest checkpoints from what I heard. They, uh, there was an old uh, bridge here which was destroyed and they recently uh, renovated it. But I've heard a lot of stories about um, terrible queues and kind of you never know what will happen when you cross this sort of border and that is the problem these sorts of places. And a lot of old people coming and going, uh, get their pensions, see their family. Mm -hmm. It's a mess, simply put. Mm -hmm. So here we have it, the end of controlled Ukraine. We're in the area that's supposed to be Molodozhny Quartel, like young quarter, right? <laughs> and well, it's a bit underwhelming, like everything today. <laughs> yep. Oh, let's see. Oh, maybe I should go on a bike again, Ken. <laughs> that, that, will, that will make up my day. <laughs> what do we got in the main street here? Well, I think, well, the other main street. An empty Produkties. market. Produkti. For more Produktis. Post garages and shops. Little market. So Ken and I have got ourselves a cold beverage yep. from the shop. And we're just walking through the railway or the unused railway because they actually stopped this all the way back in Lysychansk which is where we arrived last night it's the last stop but normally the train would have gone all the way along here uh -huh. yeah, to Luhansk well imagine that you were living here in uh, Sunitsa Luhanska and then all this conflict happens and suddenly you can't even go to Luhansk, which is the major city near here, where a lot of people would have, you know, lived and worked. And it's the case for a lot of uh, these border cities. Their lifeblood has just been taken away from them. So now, this, you know, you could have gone along this railway here, gone to your work, gone to your job, see your family, etc. 
now it's the big old checkpoint that's pains across basically mm -hmm. and well this area out here the green area potential mines as well mm -hmm. don't recommend you look here at Ukrainian territory and over there the hill that hill is the disputed territory uh, the Hans People's Republic mm -hmm. still going on to this day and there can be frequent shelling here haven't haven't encountered any problems yet have we Ken? No, no. Uh -huh. that's crazy you know we're up here just looking at it Streets like this that are very close to the border, uh, obviously being very heavily hit, as you've noticed. You know, random bullet holes everywhere, both sides. Shelled out houses, burnt out, etc. We've got some serious shell damage here. This building has seen much better days. And of course, uh, Beautiful bullet ridden bucket. Look at that. Building after building. It's just stuffed. Well, imagine that this was your house. You're sitting here on your own business one day, and then boom. Taken from you. Just like that. Crazy. So behind us we have the community centre and what we believe is the government building here. Mm -hmm. So this would be the real centre of St. Ilhanska. But what do you guys think? What do you think of St. Ilhanska, Ken? Well, at least this part is very, very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody here for a Monday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. It's been ridiculously quiet. A uh, bunch of shops closed, but I guess it is, you know, it's a Monday, middle of the work day. Yeah, few oh. open. Some uh -huh. seem like completely empty. Mm -hmm. But you got some nice flowered areas, there were some other ones back over there. So, I mean, it's not completely abandoned and fallen to ruin. There are some nice little spots, but unfortunately they're few and far between. We are back in the car and we are heading over to Shastya, the village, uh, also along the border with the controlled area of Luhansk. And there we're going to see well, what it's like there. It's a bit more compact from what I see on the map. Um, but well, we'll find out when we get yep. <laughs> And uh, Shastya actually means happiness. So let's see how happy this place really is. <laughs> so Ken has noticed the sounds which they have just stopped right now but you reckon it's the some shelling or some I definitely heard something that sounded like an explosion there. yeah it, it sounds like gunfire of some type some for, so yeah like quite far away but not yeah it didn't sound like right around here like echoing through somewhere it, it's not something that's gonna hit us it's just echoing through the hills yeah okay so we just arrived here in the town of Shastya and well we're already happy because look at this. You have your lavachki, your bench, and a solar panel, for goodness sakes. That also has some kind of oh yes. Charging ports. Hell yeah. Super modern. What? Like I don't see this in like Kiev or other places, but all the way out here they have this. Kiev, this has probably been trashed. Yeah, but here they're like, well, we will, we like this. Let's let's keep it. Madness. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're around here in the center. Oh yeah, yeah Palace of Culture here. Uh -huh. You can read up there. Whoa, and well, this is ridiculously hot. So everyone's being smart, unlike us, and not just walking around. Well, this 
be happy? Well, it's a river at least. <laughs> yeah, that that's true, Ken. It is a river, and looks like there was some kind of jetty or bridge, maybe. Yeah, that is maybe a bridge. Seen better days. The checkpoint is actually down that way, and then across the bridge. So yeah, this could very well not be under current Ukrainian control. And well, the destroyed bridge kind of gives me a clue about that part. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. And here we have what I call the Sea of Happiness. Just your sea. Isn't it lovely? Well, what did you think of Shastya? Was it happy? Chill? I'm not sure about happy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty chill. Like, I like this central area here that we're in. It's ridiculously hot, so we got ourselves another drink and snack, of course. Um, but so far, I, I like this little place. Yeah. You know? I do like it for sure. So, yes, I'm happy with Shastya. Mm -hmm. Very happy. All right, we're going to get our... Uh, lift back to Severodonetsk and see if we can survive the hot journey. This one. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh. From soldiers and volunteers of Ukraine, yeah. <laughs> so it's a gift. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are back here in Severodonetsk. It has been a very long day, a very hot day. It's cooling down a little bit now, but oh, now we've got ourselves a cold drink. Uh -huh. Trying to cool off and help us sleep because it is uh, ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing a bit of the Luhansk region and far, very far east. It was a really cool opportunity to go um, with Andre in the car to see uh, Sunita Luhanska and Shastya. You can see a bit of what, it, what, what it's like today. Of course, um, there, we were lucky enough we didn't come across any direct conflict. Uh, but, of course, you can see how badly these places have been affected. And well, we can only hope for a better future for these places. And we'll give a cheers to Luhansk region this time. May they have a better future. Cheers to that. Cheers. Good stuff.